Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple released the first public beta of iOS 10. To any brave soul that wants to try it out, I'm going to show you how to install it using this video. Very simple guide. It's a lot easier than my old one, even though that one was pretty easy. But beyond that, should you install it? So I'm going to give you my personal experience of running iOS 10 across every single device. I mean, for like three weeks already. So I've got a good little experience with iOS 10. And really, I just want to tell you guys that if you're installing this on your main device, you know, you can't be surprised when things just don't work out. I have experienced experienced very little crashing, but it is just a little slow to respond at times. Like sometimes you'll open up an app and there will be a slight delay or closing it and you notice it. These things take up a little bit more time, so it's not completely smooth. But with developer beta 2, it's gotten much better actually. So if you were afraid of like crashing, stuff like that, it's very rare. I mean, back in the iOS 7 beta days, that was a daily occurrence, but now it's become quite, you know, much better. So if you guys do want to install it, it is better. The beta 2 is basically public beta 1 of iOS 10. So it's very, very simple, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out an iOS 9 device right here, and I'm going to go ahead and install it. If you're wondering about speed, I will have a full speed test comparison up today, as well as battery life of beta 2. If you want to hold off before watching that, uh, you could, but I will have that down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. But on beta 1, it was just a little bit slower, but battery life actually improved on some devices. All right, I'm going to give you guys a link down below as well, but it's basically beta.apple.com. So it's going to go ahead and redirect you to this page. If you guys are not signed up with the beta program, you want to go ahead and do so right there. So it'll take you through it. You can go ahead and uh, enter all your information there. But once you're signed up for the beta software program, you wanna go back to this page and sign in. And this is where you'll end up. So you guys wanna go to enroll your device right here. And it's basically what we did in my other video. We're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna download the profile. So in here, you'll now be on the public beta iOS profile. And I actually prefer the other guide because sometimes public betas don't come out right away. They come out after the developer betas, so you're never gonna be on top of things, but hopefully that's not the case. So you wanna go ahead and restart your device, and after it restarts, we will begin the installation process. And just something I wanted to point out to you guys, if you're on the developer beta right now, there is no way to go from that to public beta without downgrading your device. I was unable to do that personally. So you guys wanna go ahead and uh, downgrade your device using my guide, then go back using the public beta. But I really don't see any point in doing that. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, so we're still on iOS 9. That wasn't the installation. So we're gonna jump into general, software update, and this is what you'll find after just a little bit. So you wanna go ahead and select download and install. I'm not going to do that, but I will have a full speed test for you guys very, very soon here as well as a battery test. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, let me know, are you guys staying on your current firmware? Are you updating to iOS 10? You know, you're gonna brave it out. I'm curious. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy iOS 10. Peace.